Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video we are going to be speaking about, well actually we're not going to really be speaking about anything. I want to do a video called Can You Relate? Growing up with ADHD I want you guys to kind of just get to know me a little bit better. Can you relate to some of the things that I done because of my ADHD growing up. I'm going to throw some things at you and I want you to comment down below and let me know oh my god I did that as a kid growing up with ADHD. I really want you guys to just have fun with this video. Don't take things too seriously because yeah it's not about that it's just about having a bit of a fun video. I know I done some crazy shiz when I was a bit younger um, and I was undiagnosed so now I can look back and think oh my goodness like what did I do that for? So yeah let's have some fun. So could you please give me a like and a subscribe down below so I can carry on creating more content for you and I know what you guys like and want to see. So yeah, let's get on to the video. So number one, who can relate to growing up and people saying to you, why can't you just sit still? Like why do you keep moving around? Just sit still and watch the TV. Sit still and do your work. Like why can't you sit still? That is like constantly, like just sit Still, so all I could remember is like people just saying, can you just sit back down please in your chair? Sit down, sit, sit back down please. Can you just sit down please? Can you stop moving? Sit down please. Molly, can you please just sit down please? I'm just asking you, please sit down. <sighs> Molly, sit down. I've asked you now, sit down. So, number two. Can anyone else relate to this? Always in A&E or like, I don't know what they call it in America, maybe ER or something, like the emergency department at the, the hospital basically. I was constantly in and out doing like stupid things, but the only times I've actually like broken a bone was, was when I was actually not doing anything <laughs> wrong. I like literally pushed a pull door and my wrist like snapped and nobody believed me at school. And even when I, I went to the hospital, come back with a cast on my arm, they then said to me, so what were you doing then, running in the corridor? I said I wasn't running. They were like, well Molly, this is you we're on about, so you must have been doing something. No, I literally did nothing. People just assumed I was always doing something wrong because I had ADHD. And people just automatically assumed that I was doing something stupid or like daredevil like running around hyper. <laughs> so yeah, it's number two. That's what it is. People always assuming that, yeah. So, who else can relate to this, really? I was always the child that, like, forgot their PE kit, their pencil case, forgot about school trips, or, like, forgot that they needed to bring in a letter, forgot that they put, like, the letter in your rucksack and you forget about it. You forget your food ingredients for food tech. I literally forgot everything and always forgot my PE kit, the essentials for school. Yeah, yeah. Can, can any of you else, can any of you relate to that? Like completely always forgetting things and just always being like the one that has to like can I, can I, can I borrow, can I borrow a pencil please? Because I always forgot my like pencil case like my mum would go out and buy me like really cool stationery trying to encourage me to like take my pencil case to school and be like really super careful don't lose it yeah no that never happened I probably lost it all on the like the first day so yeah and I, I just forgot probably on the first day I probably even forgot to take my own like pencil case in but yeah who else can relate to always forgetting their school kit because it's me let's go really who else can relate to this working super super hard on your homework right and you usually always forget it like always forget it but you're so passionate about handing this piece of homework in because you you know you're so proud that you spent two or three hours one evening going through it you know your parents are like super proud of you and you go and forget it and your, your teacher literally does not believe you that, that you've actually done it. They're like, yeah, okay, you say this every week. And then you never bring it in. But you know, you get so angry with yourself, like, oh, I actually done that as well. Like you get so, and you're just like, oh, I'll give up. And then you never bother doing homework again because you just feel like it doesn't even matter anymore. I don't care if I make an effort or not. So you just give up caring. Who else can relate? Please tell me if someone else relates down below. <laughs> so who else can relate to this, right? So. You want to join a club, like you're really into like dancing, you think, oh yeah, I'm going to be able to do it, blah, blah, blah. You start the club and your mum's like, right, if I buy you this uniform for this club, I buy you the equipment, dance shoes, ballerina shoes, whatever, right? 
you promise me you're going to stick at this because the last five clubs you've quit after like two lessons because you got bored. Promise me you're gonna you're not going to quit this time. Oh, mummy, I promise I'm not going to quit. Two weeks later, I don't want to do it no more, mum. You lose complete interest, and you're like, but I want to do this, and your mum's like. Yeah, I'm not falling for that again. Then you start the club and it all goes over again, same cycle. Who else can relate to not being able to commit to doing, like, anything? <laughs> so, who else can relate, right? You're like, right, mum, I'm going to go upstairs, I'm going to get changed, ready for bed, for school, for college, for university, or whatever. It happens at any age, still happens to me to this day. And you set all your clothes out, right? And you're like, oh, yeah, I'm really up for this. I, I'm getting, yep, yeah, I'm all organised. Bam. You're sat on the bed on your iPad, your laptop, whatever, on your phone, and your mum's like, Right, are you ready? We're ready to go. And you're like, oh, oh my god, I forgot, I forgot. And then you're like, I'll be a minute, mum. And then you're like, Half an hour, and everyone gets angry at you because you're like, You have no concept of time at all. That's me, I'm so guilty of that. Can you relate to that? Oh, I, I, yeah. Who else can relate to always losing stuff, like losing everything? So, Quickly, I'm going to give you a real quick example. Basically, two weeks ago, I lost my bank card. had no idea where I put it. So, yeah, I had to cancel it and order a new one. So, it came, cut like, three or four days after. So, yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to lose this now. I'm going to start putting it in a purse, blah, blah, blah. Never happens. So, the same day, I lost the card. I lost the same... I lost my brand new card. My parents are so used to it. They were like, oh, Molly, just cancel it and order a new one. Like, pfft. You need to start putting it away, Molly. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, I will. So I cancel it again. Comes and then I lost it. The set I lost the second new card again. Thankfully, we found it. But I just am so like flippant with things. I put things down and I forget where I put them. And then I'm lo I've lost them. And then I'm like blaming everybody else. Like, you shouldn't touch my stuff. You shouldn't do this. But in reality, I should start putting things away. Like, yeah. So. Who else can relate to, like, not being organised at all? I guarantee a lot of people you, people will be able to relate to this. Organisation. Uh-uh. That is... I'm, I suck at any type of organisation. It's so bad. If I know I'm going somewhere, I will literally pack my bag right at the last minute. Like, and I mean the last minute, like, before we're heading out the door. And then I forget... That I need something and on the way I'm like angry that nobody told me that I should pack my bag earlier or nobody told me I needed to do this or you didn't tell me I needed to bring that mum she's like yeah I did like three weeks ago when I told you to start getting things ready because this day was coming and I knew you wouldn't get ready so I packed it for you I've got a spare one because I knew you wouldn't bring anything that you needed so yeah, people pretty much just, just know me in my house, because, yeah. yeah. So, who else can relate to this, really? Always being the child that puts their hand up in class, but still calls out, oh, it's so me. Like, oh, put my hand up in class, like, yeah. Yeah, but it's this, it's this, and then your teacher's like, you need to start putting your hand up. Like, I've got it up, but you're still not answering me. That's so me, like, I'd be like, I, I think by putting my hand up, I have the right to speak. I don't, but I still call out, talk over others, and interrupt. Like, who else can relate to always being that kid in class that like, has their hand up and still shouts out the answer? Oh, well. Oh, well. Who else can relate to this? You're looking for your sunglasses or your glasses, and you're literally looking around everywhere, and you're thinking, like, where are they? They're on the top of your head, and you spend hours, like, looking for them, and you're like, so who else can relate to this really da -na 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 -na. so if you become interested in something there's no difference but like there's no in between there's like you're either totally obsessed or you're just not interested you go through stages of being like totally obsessed with the power rangers right and then the next week you hate them but like last week, you were like buying all stuff, Power Rangers. Then the week after, you're like, oh, I don't like any of that. And, and then you're on to the next thing. You're like, there's no diff, like there's no in between. You're like either really utterly obsessed or you just don't care. Can you relate to that? Please tell me. I'm not. Just, just tell me. So who else can relate to this really? So someone's talking to you, right? And you're looking at them like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're having like a totally different conversation in your head. You're like, yeah. In your head, you're thinking, oh yeah, I like her skirt. I wonder where she got that from. Or like, oh yeah, I'm 
last week I said that to someone else. I remember. And then when they're like, oh, so yeah, what do you think? And you're like, yeah, yeah. And you just think, oh my God, like, I don't even know what they said. And then because you're aware that you were just ignoring them kind of, you start to like really like try to listen and you end up going like this, like staring at them like this, like, because you don't want to miss what they're saying because you don't want to be rude. That is so me, like, you could literally talk to me and, and I just, I'm in my own world and I'll be like nodding like, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, who else can relate to this really? You had a super fun weekend and you're gonna be telling like your friend, your fam, someone. You're, you wanna tell someone, then you start to tell them. Then you become aware that you keep talking in circles. You're like, in your own head, you're subconsciously thinking, yeah, I've just said that twice. And then you start to like panic and then you start talking even like you're just like oh, blah, 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 blah. and then people are like oh, oh, just lost you like what are you saying i confuse people because i speak super loud and i go around in circles like i want to just tell them this thing but instead it could it should be like here to here like that's just a standard story but me is here then hmm. like it's no like oh it's like going through a maze like I just want to tell you that I had a good weekend. I've just told you my whole life story. Like, and what happened when I was three. And I want to tell you what happened yesterday, but I can't tell you. So, who else can relate to this, ready? So you spend hours in your bedroom cleaning everything up, right? Organising everything. You think, right, that is it. From today, I'm going to be more organised. I'm motivated to get things sorted, get my life in order. Then the next day, your drawers are like, back to the way they were, things thrown on the floor, everything everywhere, and you're like, yeah, well, I'll, I'll do it, I'll start tomorrow, and it never happens. Like, you spent hours trying to sort something out, and you just wasted your time, basically, because you go back to your old habits. So, who else, yeah, can relate to this? Your best friend, right? You have a real good, close friend, and she has another friend, and you think, I can't be having you out with another friend, you're my best friend. And, like, you fall out because she's your best friend and you don't want her having any, any other friends. You can become quite like, well, you're my friend. You should not be allowed to have any other friends. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this quick, short video. Just want you guys to know you're not alone. It's, it's crazy, our, our, our minds are crazy. You know, over obsessed sometimes, super unorganized, well I am anyway. And yeah, people just think I'm always like busy, loud, and actually I, I'm not. Um, but yeah, people just assume that I'm doing things wrong. If I hurt myself, what were you doing wrong? I wasn't doing anything. People just assume, and just growing up with having ADHD and people, well you should have been sat still, you shouldn't be doing this, you shouldn't be doing that, you shouldn't be running. I wasn't, people just assume because, yeah, just, just Growing up with ADHD is crazy, but I wouldn't change it for the world. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and it was quite short, snappy. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this. And yeah, let me know down below in the comments what sort of videos you want to see next. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.